Hello. Today we'll be learning how to make these impossible shapes. I'll be taking you through the two different types here and how to add 3D text. Let's get started. The first thing I did was grab an isometric grid image from online and use this as our background. Then I've gone into the basic shapes drawer and grabbed a diamond shape. This is the only shape we're going to need for this tutorial. I've aligned it to the grid and gone into the point editing mode. Select two points and move them along the line of the grid around eight triangles. Duplicate the shape and rotate it round till it's vertical. We need this one to be shorter, so let's make it seven triangles including the shape that it's connected to. Now let's tweak the right point so it stays inside the first shape. Now select both shapes, tap on the boolean icon and combine. We have ourselves our first shape. Now let's rotate it around so the longer edge is horizontal. Duplicate and change the duplicate's colour. Rotate it round so the longer line sits on the outside of the shorter line of our first shape. It should sit neatly. Repeat this process a third time and we have it. Our first impossible triangle. Let's remove the background for now and play with the colours. Here. I'm just exploring the different types of colours we might want to use for our final image. I've ended up choosing this bright version. Before we start our second shape, let's add the text. Select the text tool and write the word impossible. Now let's choose a font that will work really well in 3D. This is looking good. Now to build our 3D version, let's duplicate this text twice. We need to split this shape, so let's convert it from text to shapes and then split it up. Place the darker version behind the other one so we can move each letter individually and change its angle ever so slightly. We want this to feel like an extruded shape. So for each shape, we're going to go into the point editing mode and start connecting it to the shape in front, just like this. Finally, let's duplicate this again and add just one more version of our text and let's make it a multitude of colours to add a bit more interest. Let's put that in place. Now we have to create the illusion that this is interacting with our triangle. Select the P, O and S shapes and move them behind the yellow and green elements of our triangle. You can do this by using the arrange arrows. Now let's add the words shape and designing in the same font. It's time to move on to our final impossible shape. Let's bring back our isometric grid and let's grab another diamond shape. All we need to do is create a simple isometric cube using three diamonds. We're going to create another shape to help us before we get started. Let's grab one of our diamonds and create this star using six of them. Now, increase the size of one of our cubes and align it to the star's edge. All we need to do now is repeat this five times along our star. Select our final cube and then select the darker side. We need to bring this to the front using the arrange arrows. Now delete the star in the middle and there we have it. Let's place this behind our shape and text we did before. Hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again next time.